Hi all, welcome to this course, uh, Physics 106 or the Physics for uh, Engineers. So for our first topic, we have to what we call the Introduction to Physics. Okay. So for the brief content of our first topic, we have first, the, of course, the Introduction. Here we will uh, briefly discuss what is physics and then we will move on to the branches branches of physics and then the third one is that we will um, discuss the units of measurements measurements and then lastly we will um, discuss the uh, scalars and vectors okay so we all know that uh, our topic here physics is one of the major branches branches of the what we call the natural science okay so physics is a uh, major branch is one of the major branches of our uh, natural science so physics is a natural science but here uh, physics is based on based on experiments also measurements measurements and mathematical analysis so here yeah. so physics is a natural science based on experiments measurements and mathematical analysis here in our um, course uh, especially in your course uh, you are uh, taking engineering of course so here in engineering our uh, main foundation is based here in physics okay so we will do all these we are based on the experiments and we have a lot of measurements here and of course there are also a lot of mathematical analysis going on okay so so this is with the purpose of with the purpose oops, of uh, finding quantitative finding quantitative 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 it's called laws for everything okay so this is with the purpose of finding quantitative physical laws for everything so here in engineering it uh, deals with the uh, prediction of the behavior of uh, different physical objects uh, from microscopic scale up to the human scale so here in um, engineering we do mostly um, about the human scale or the bigger scale rather than the microscopic scale but of course there are also microscopic scale level okay so there are also the planetary scale or the bigger bigger, bigger picture of the physics uh, sometimes they study the um, the orbits of the planets and the cosmos and so other since this uh, subject here or the physics is so basic and fundamental here in um, uh, engineering it is uh, it is a required course for uh, students like engineering and others not only for engineers engineering students but also the uh, students taking up uh, taking up related uh, science-based courses okay since this is a wide range course or area okay so in this course we will uh, explore the different laws and principles uh, which you might uh, apply later on the specific specific uh, engineering aspects like in the design or like in design or uh, research based 
uh, topics, and so many more. Uh, later on, you will uh, find out uh, the different applications or, or different uh, or uh, different approach where you can uh, apply uh, this uh, subject, the basics. Okay. So. So after that, we'll now move on here to the branches of physics. Branches of physics. Okay. So there are uh, uh, different uh, branches of physics. So it can be classified into the classical one. Classical. Classical. This is the uh, physics of Newton and its uh, contemporaries. So our um, uh, course here is based on the what we call the classical physics. Okay. So in other one, we have the what we call the modern physics. Modern physics. Okay. So uh, you might uh, heard the what we call the quantum mechanics and the Einstein's relativity. So that is all about the modern physics okay. so here in our course we will uh, just uh, focus mainly here in the what we call classical physics so uh, this is basically about the um, uh, the works of newton and its contemporaries all right okay so this this classical uh, physics can be uh, further be divided into one two three uh, four four categories we have the uh, okay. we have the what we call the mechanics and the uh, heat and thermodynamics heat and we have the electricity and magnetism And of course, we have the waves, waves, and optics. So first, here I am the uh, mechanics. Uh, this is uh, uh, all about the forces and the response of the object when you apply that force. Okay. So the uh, uh, response when you apply the force could either be the static response, motion response, or in terms of deformation so when you apply the point force it the object can move not move or deform or in other so for the second one by the way um we will discuss this further one by one later on on our course okay so for the heat and thermodynamics uh, it deals on the uh, different temperature which plays on the uh, crucial role in the properties, the processes, and the cycles of an object. So we will also be discussing how heat was transferred, transferred or it deals specifically on how it entered or leave the system or the object. Okay. Also, we will uh, discuss this later on about the electricity and the magnetism. Okay. Here, uh, it deals with the uh, phenomenon phenomena of the electricity, uh, magnetic charges, waves, uh, circuits, and other. And of course, lastly, we have the waves and optics, the uh, different uh, waves, lights, and so on. That is uh, more or less 10 minutes. So, see you on the next video.